Hey Pisces, how are you? How is October treating you so far? Welcome to the Sacred Sage. This is your weekly tarot reading for the week of 22nd October till 28th of October. Well, how is the week going to be for you? Okay. All right. Oh, this is not a good week, but I'm sure there is a way to deal with it. So, uh, so far, uh, I think you've been dealing with a certain kind of block situation, a situation where you felt uh, not trapped, but maybe entangled. It could be addictions, it could be codependency, it could be relationships where you're just stuck, neither are you able to make it work, nor can you just get out of it. Uh, it it's, it's some kind of an equation where... Uh, you know, it's it's not letting you get off its clutches. That's what the devil here is signifying. And it takes a certain amount of strength. So you are standing there and figuring out what has it been for you so far. You are actually thinking and contemplating where does this take you? What is the road ahead? What has been the journey so far? You know, you've you've been there, you've suffered a lot, you've experienced and learned a few lessons, but you're still stuck. So yeah, somewhere during the week you are thinking about all of these aspects of your life and and you're just scared. You're scared to figure out which way to go, what to do, what opportunities to accept. It's not that you don't have a way forward, it's just that you're unable to decide uh, which way is the right way for you. So, yes, the universe is offering you an opportunity this week. Something's coming your way, but uh, you're just closed. Look at this man, right, uh, sitting under the tree. The universe is giving him a cup, which could be love, which could be affection, could be, could be something new that gives you a chance to uh, break free and start something uh, which probably has a better future but you're not open to it you're not even looking at it not interested it seems yeah uh, well if you continue to be in this state then obviously it's going to be something where you will feel betrayed whether it is by people whether it is by situations it could be that you're completely devastated uh, your energy doesn't allow you to stand up and restore life again I would say that something about all of this is still hidden. So maybe all of this energy that is happening is because uh, there is something which is under the surface. I must tell you that if it is about your love life, then it is going to come up soon. I strongly feel that there is something in your energy. Again, a lot of sword energy. So maybe it is about uh, an air sign, possibly uh, a Libra. Uh, because we've just gotten over the Libra month, right? So, yeah, I, I think it is about someone who's not been clean, someone who's been slightly sneaky, manipulative, could be stabbing you in the back. That is what this signifies. And may, maybe you just don't know the truth as yet. Or if you know the truth, then probably you don't know the whole story. That what is it that happened which made you feel like this? And who was this person? And under what circumstances did this person decide to deceive you or manipulate you? Because this one's definitely not uh, someone who's clean, right? There has been something which is cooking behind your back or maybe it was uh, being done to you and it's already done and that's why you feel like this. But yeah, something about this whole thing, still hidden, you don't know the truth because uh, 
the high priestess is someone who keeps all her secrets to herself. She doesn't let them uh, come out in the open to the world. So, yeah. Maybe it is time for it to come out and that's why you have the tower energy. So all of this energy is going to shake up and yeah, it is going to be an earth shattering experience. I don't mean to make you upset, but I believe that this is important for you to get out of this whole muck, right? You've been stuck for a long, long time. You have no idea who is it that you were trusting so blindly and they were deceiving you and that's why this tower comes because it has to shatter and come clean right it, it, the tower comes everything that doesn't serve you eventually has to break apart for it to open up new ways but then there is still time for that because after the tower you're like this you're still stuck but if you see, it's not that you have to continue to be in this state of being stuck and not knowing what to do. The eyes are closed, the hands are tied. That is your overall energy. So basis all of these experiences and lessons that you're going through, you will feel all of this. But then the universe is saying that uh, from where you were to where you will be towards the end of the week, it is a transformation. All that doesn't serve you, people, places, situations, especially the stuck situation or this manipulation everything's gonna come out and uh, yes it's gonna be slightly painful or challenging for you to deal with it but at the end of the day you will be out of this and then it's about you transforming from this to something better then it's about you uh, coming out of the clutches of the devil energy and being on your own, right? This is not codependency. This is about breaking away from codependency, feeling bad and being in this situation of not knowing where to go. So this is a transformation and I hope as we get into the next week, you will have more clarity as to what should you do with your life the way forward, all right? I hope it turns out well for you at the end of the day. Take care.